Some time ago, I promised to do a video that would show you how to create a grid in Cricut Craft Room. So to do that, I'm going to use the Cricut Craft Room Basics cartridge, which is the one that displays by default as soon as you open up Cricut Craft Room. I'm going to click this rectangle. You could also use, uh, there's a square here somewhere, possibly if you press shift. There you go, you've got a square as well. I'll use a square for the first one, and I'm going to set my size. I'm going to make it 11 by 11. Notice that this link, the lock aspect ratio, is not clicked. So then I can change both my width and height. If it were locked, and I tried to change 1, being a square, it would automatically change the other to set to, to the other this, to the same value, but I want them as 11. So I could have left that locked, and it would do that for me automatically, or I can choose it myself. So I'm going to close this drawer so that I can see all the way down, and there's my 11 by 11 square. To add more to it, to add more parts to my grid, I'm going to go back to the original image I had. And I'm going to drag this up over here. I'm going to make this, let's say it's 3 by 2.6, 3.75 by 2.6. I'm going to unlock this and I'm going to make this 4 inches by 6 inches. That would fit a standard photo. And to create a hole, you click Weld. You can make sure that this side and the top are even. You can then add another one. Bring that over here. And you don't have to use this to resize. You can just move your, your square rectangle into position where you want it. And then you can drag it out to be the size you want. You can drag this down and then click Weld, and then keep adding them. I'm going to close this so I can see a bit better. Move this down where you want it. Let's say you want it a little square here. You could also use the position, the X and Y coordinates, to place a square or a rectangle exactly where you want it. I can copy this. Actually, I better weld it first, and then I'll copy this, and I'll paste it, and then I'll have the exact same size again, and I can move it where I want it. So let's do this, and then we'll leave a little bit more of a gap in between the other two. And it's already welded because I copied a welded shape. I could drag this a little bit further so that things fit a little bit better, if you like. And you can keep going like that. And it doesn't have to be squares and rectangles. Let's go back to the images and let's find a circle or an oval. <laughs> I'm going to press shift and then I'll have a perfect circle. And I can bring that down over here and click weld. I can bring in a star, move it down over here. I'm going to Close this so I can see better. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it fits in that space. And I can click Weld. So you can see all the different things that you can do with that. You can also bring in letters. Um, let's bring this back up. And I'm just going to type in the word boy. Let's go to text. I'm going to add a new text box. I'm going to type in boy in capital letters. And I'm going to move that where I want it, down over here. And that automatically cuts it out for me this way. So that all of these shapes, wherever you see the color lighter, a pinker color, that's going to cut out. So you can do this. You see this very often on different shapes where you've got something cut out like that. So let's take this a step further. I'm going to delete all of these. I'm just going to select them and delete them.
and I'm going to create a project life card. Go back to seeing my images. I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to make this size. Let's go back over here. Shape properties. I'm going to make this a three by four card. Make this a three by four card. I'm going to zoom in so we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to type in the word boy. Maybe I'll spell it correctly. There we go. <laughs> there, that's done. It could be a little bit smaller. So this isn't going to be very original. It's just going to show you what you can do. So I'll move that down here on my card. So I'm going to take this shape, copy it, and paste it. And then I'm going to flip this one horizontally. Then I'm going to bring this one over here on the le to the left of the word boy. And I'll bring this one over here to the right of the word boy. Line it up so that it looks even, centered. So now I'm going to choose something that works for a boy. I'm going to choose this rickrack shape. I'm going to bring it over here first and rotate it because I'd like it to go straight across the top. Make it a little bit wider, so I need to rotate it again. And then bring that over to here. Ah. But I don't want it too wide because if it doesn't fit within the sh within this square, this rectangle, then it won't weld. Once I weld it, there we go. And that's all there is to that. Hope that's been helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching.